guys welcome back to our channel um, so glad that you're here watching us uh, as we share wholesome content for you guys what are we going to talk about today trade lines so um, I know you've probably heard this many many times before but pretty much what is a trade line a trade line is anything that shows up on your credit whether it be a loan a mortgage for a house a credit card the purchase of a car, anything that shows up on your credit is a trade line. So pretty much uh, two main ways that trade lines can help your credit is A, the age of this trade line. So a trade line that's 10 years is a lot more seasoned than a trade line like two years, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and also, what it does is it lowers your utilization rate. So, uh, the utilization rate pretty much is a good formula to, to describe it is, it's the amount of credit you're using divided by the amount of available credit that you have. So, that is your usage ratio. So, I guess, like, you want to do, like, a numbers example? Yeah, so... Um, let's say you currently have $10,000 worth of line of credit, right? You have a $10,000 credit card, um, and you're using a hundred percent of that, right? Your yeah. utilization rate would be a hundred percent, um, to stay within a good range so that your credit, uh, periodically increases over time. You want to stay below 30%. Actually, if you want to be in the top like one or two percent, you want to stay below 10%. Pretty much, if you increase the amount of credit that's available to you, so you go from 10,000 to let's say 100,000, but you're only using 10,000 worth 10,000 of that 100,000, then your utilization rate is essentially 10%. So that in itself will help you increase your credit over time. So more seasoned credit cards are better the older they are. Right. And the the more credit or the bigger the credit limit, the the smaller the the utilization ratio. And exactly. So, so we want to stay below thirty percent, um, but like you said, top tier, ten percent. That's 10% that's less. like if you're really killing it, guys. Like if you really want to get to the next level, um, below ten ten percent is a sweet spot. So if you have a five thousand uh, dollar credit limit card, you want to stay below five hundred. Three thousand, three hundred, ten percent. Just take a zero off the back end, and that's just a good way to, to keep track and pay it off every month. Um, if someone, if you're hopping on somebody's uh, trade line, you just want to make sure that that's the best way to establish credit history is to stay below ten percent usage, but at the same time, make sure you pay it all off, all that ten percent by the end of the month, and. That should boost your credit um, big time. Big time for sure. So pretty much guys, what does this all mean? You're probably asking yourself, okay, that's great. You have credit lines and you know, age plus utilization rate helps your credit. But what if you're not there, right? What if um, you have a low credit score or you don't have any credit at all? How can this benefit you? So there's a thing called authorized users. So pretty much you get added to someone's credit card um, as an authorized user. They add you to their history and pretty much think of it like a piggyback. So you're going to piggyback to the payment history that they've already made in the past two, three, four years, depending on how old this line of credit is. Um, so all that good stuff that's on their credit now rolls over to your credit. So you can literally go up like 150 plus points in a matter of two months. It takes about a month to show up on your credit, two to be exact. Um, so if you can um, get on someone's authorized user list, guys, this will change your credit to the max. Like I promise you, it's gonna make a difference. So much so, I mean, I'm on my, like when we got together, like she, she made me an authorized user on, on her credit card. Fellas, like, don't just date for looks. Date for good credit. It <laughs> matters. I'd be broke if I wasn't married to my wife. But with that being said, 
um, because she added me as an authorized user, it should, it increased my credit score um, substantially. And so I'm on my way to the 800 Club. I'm not there yet, but I'm on my way. We're um, getting there. So that's that's pretty much how it works, and it's super useful. And, and like she's saying, and since it, it it increases your credit points, that is the thing that will get you over the hump so that you can qualify for that boat, car, house, whatever it is that you're trying to get a loan for, where your credit's just a little shaky. Yeah. Um, that's definitely what you want to do. So also another point I want to make though, um, so like I mentioned, it takes about two months for it to solidify on your credit. So whatever it is that you're trying to do within those two months, you can go ahead and do so. Whether it be, you know, applying for a new apartment, now that your credit is higher, they'll probably approve you because of your higher credit score, right? If you're trying to get a car loan, that would be the time to go and apply for these things because it'll show these creditors that you're credit worthy, right? Also, when um, the authorized user ends up, you know, removing you from their credit card, your score may drop some, but not totally. So the goal is to, now that you've got, you know, a kickstart to it, continue the good habits, apply for a new credit card of your own, start building that history so that in essence, you can just steadily keep going up with your own credit. And so after two months, you should be good. And then after that, you just get removed. And yeah. so your credit might dip a little bit, right? Like yeah. after you get removed, but yeah. like, it, 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 def it, it, it dips, um, but it shouldn't take you back to where you started from. It should leave some history and some depth to your credit to where you can you know go on your own and like i mentioned continue the good credit habits hopefully um you know you 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 learn from it and you want to continue on that path like i said i hopped on my wife's credit and she's one to introduce me to like how trade lines work and, and, and all those sorts of things and so um really it can happen to anybody but i know the hardest thing is trying to find somebody that has trustworthy credit that you can piggyback on, that you can hop on their trade line as an authorized user. And look for you, we might be able to be those people. If you've been looking for someone that, you know, you can trust or someone that might be able to help you in your journey of acquiring whatever it is that you need to get to move further ahead in life, um, yeah, hit us up, uh, shoot us an email. Um, the link will be down below. Uh, we also have an Instagram page. Um, where you can send us a DM, uh, you can leave a comment below, whatever it is that you guys need, please guys, don't hesitate to reach out. We could definitely help you if you have any questions whatsoever. Again, reach out. Yeah, so our our, our company is Wholesome Financial, but really just we're all about everything. Wholesome, family, finances, and faith. And so you'll see a lot of content like that just pumping out in this channel. But uh, specifically for trade lines, yeah, follow us on Instagram, Wholesome Financial, or uh, like Sue said, just reach out to us through the link or the email below. Everything that we're, we're sharing with you is because we're, we're, we've learned it, we've implemented it, or we're currently doing it. So we get to share with you all the, our wins and all our losses. So Absolutely. we look forward to doing that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon.